So today I'm stacking firewood and I thought I'd show how we stack it. We've been heating with wood now for quite a few years and we've gotten a good system down for hauling it, stacking it, and just handling it in general. So this is how we do it. So I have our trailer here and we only load one side of this because when I back into the woodshed here at the back of the house, that's the side that we have available. Otherwise we'd have to walk around to this side and then back around. And if we just piled the wood into the center of the trailer, it would just be a jumble. So what we like to do, we've uh, just put the wood on one side here and then it's right here for when we go into our woodshed. We can just uh, take short trips back and forth. It's very efficient. I know we're only filling half the trailer, but we're probably doing it twice as fast because we're not walking around. So follow along, we'll get to it. So first off, when we take it from the wood pile, we stack it neatly just as we took it off, just like this. So when we come up to this, we can just bundle it in our arms real quick like that. And it's not all laying on top of each other like this. We can grab multiple pieces at once with an armful and then we walk to the shed. So once you have a big bundle like this, you just take it and drop it in place. It pretty much stacks itself. You might just have to straighten a couple pieces, but it's nice and quick. Back for another bundle and then we'll drop it again. So most of this wood is very straight and cut perfectly to 16 inches using a jig off my chainsaw. Once in a while you get something crazy like this. This still has heat value, we still want to burn it, but we'll throw it off to the side here. Mostly because it doesn't stack good, but we're going to throw it in during the day when we don't have a full wood stove. One thing I like about my wood splitter that we use, which is the Rugged Made 37 ton, is that you get such a variety of sizes. So this would be on the larger end of the scale. That would be a medium piece. And then, you get some small pieces like this. So when I load my wood stove, which is a Blaze King uh, Princess Ultra, the big ones go on the bottom, put a couple of those. The medium ones go on top of all those, and then any gaps get filled by really small ones. That way you have a completely filled firebox, and we can get probably 10, 12 hours, maybe more depending on the temperature, out of a single load of firewood. And what we use is just a standalone stove inside. It's not an outdoor boiler or, any, or anything, so we just load it up. We set the one dial on it and we're good for the entire night. All right, so this is my woodshed. I built this out of scraps from my sawmill and I did a video on this a year or two ago called my $60 woodshed setup. So this, when I stack it, generally each one is a face cord. So before I took from this one here, where my finger is, this would be one complete cord. So this holds five full cord, and we're drawing off this end at the moment. So I got two and a half ricks out of here already. So what we're going to do is just come up here, grab from it, and then put it in the trailer neatly. So it should be nice and uh, quick, smooth process. Minimal loading, because I got the trailer backed right up next to uh, the woodshed here.
can see just how dry this stuff is. See the color and how it sounds together and uh, just how light it is. The water's out of it. So this is going to be some really good stuff for burning. The last stuff we had was uh, from an uncovered area and that was two cord we burned through in the first of the year. So this five cord here is pretty much uh, the good stuff. So when it gets real cold we want the best wood so this is where we come to get it. Any weird pieces we get when we go to stack this I put up on top here so any of these odd things and I throw them off to the side and that's what goes in the stove for during the day while we're at home so one of the hardest parts of stacking wood like this is the end pieces and that's because it's a self-supporting style of stacking the wood you got to find wood that is pretty square and will lay together really well. And when you're doing each row, they've got to all be about the same so your pile doesn't tip every one you go up. That's the hardest part and it takes the longest, but once you get it done, it does really well. Everything is exactly 16 inches cut. Everything is more or less about one rick, but I know exactly how much I have exactly how much I use per year so I can track that and I can make sure that I have enough on hand for what we're going to use. Alright so one quick note about the woodshed. Um, like I said it's made from all scraps from my sawmill. Um, I made the dimensions uh, just so that you could have five full cord here. So when each row is stacked you can see air and daylight between every row and that lets it dry very very good. I've got old uh, barn steel on the, the roof there, so that keeps it dry. And then you can get a good count of how much you have left then. So I've taken uh, one full cord out of here and about a half of a rick, so almost four ricks out of here. I got plenty to go for the winter.